Applying for jobs nowadays is insane, but I wanted to do a test and see if artificial intelligence, if AI, can write a better resume than what I am able to do. And it's also pretty interesting because a lot of organizations use AI to review resumes, so I kind of want to test to see if I can use AI to write a resume that AI then will be reviewing. We're gonna find out how it goes. So imagine this, instead of spending an hour or two hours or three hours reviewing every single bullet list that you have to do, did I do this, did I put in enough information, does it hit all of the keywords that I'm trying to do, we're gonna try to see if I can rewrite my resume by uploading what I currently have into this AI generator with the guise of moving in a position one level higher than where I currently am. So the system that we're gonna to use to do this test is Resi AI, and I've never used this before. I found it on Google. It's a free system or it's a free AI generator according to the website. So we're gonna jump in and see uh, what it can do with my resume. So let's jump into this tool. So uh, it's very similar to the other AI generated uh, resume services out there. They give you the free package, but then they withhold certain things that you need so that you'll pay to upgrade. So for this, this tool, or for what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna use the free version. Um, if you wanna do the paid version, that's great. Feel free to do that. I'll link to this below so that you have the access to it or you have the link to it if you want to try it out for yourself. So first I want to go over pricing because to me pricing is always the most important thing when it comes to these kind of tools because uh, you don't want to pay for something if you don't know if it's going to work and you don't want to pay a lot of money for just tools that can pretty much do what ChatGPT can, Chat GPT can do anyway. So um, the free version obviously doesn't cost anything. If you want to do the pro version, $29 a month. And then if you want to do a lifetime fee, $250 feel free. So let's talk about what's actually in this. So, so the key things to focus on here is when you're working through this version, and I think other softwares are very similar to this, um, you get one resume limit. Otherwise, you can get unlimited if you want to do the different options. The resi score is also really important. I'll show you what that is in just a second. Um, AI keywords targeting, that's pretty cool. So these, I think if you're just doing one resume, um, that's pretty easy for you to do. If you're, you know, if you have multiple people that you're working with, that you're doing a resume for you and your sister and your cousin and whatever, then maybe you might want to pay to be able to have that functionality. But what I found is just doing it by myself. It was pretty easy. The other thing to note is you have, you can also do resume reviews. You can do inter AI interviews. The part that I think is really important to focus on is this downloading section right here. Um, if you, <clears throat> the downloading section, if you download it as a PDF, that's completely fine. What I have done, and I'll show you this too, is you aren't able to download it as a Microsoft Office or if you're using Pages as an example or Microsoft Word, um, you aren't able to download those versions as the free version. You'll have to pay to get that accessibility, but you can still download it as a PDF and then convert the PDF into a Word document, which is very simple. So that's, that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing in this version. So I've taken my resume, I'm importing it now. What's happening on the back end is there the AI is scrubbing my resume as similar to if you were to apply for a job, what the resume readers that recruiters use, it's doing the same kind of software uh, or it uses the same kind of software where it's actually reviewing keyword specific things that you have. Um, and in this instance, they're laying it out and saying, okay, what's the most relevant information? So we're in the tool. As you can see, my resi score for my resume is 69 out of 100, which is not great, especially if I'm trying to land a job. Um, so what we're going to do in this instance is we're going to create a job profile from what I'm interested in applying for, which in this case, let's just say marketing director, because that will be from where I am currently. Um, that would be a step up for me. So let's look at what that would look like from a job description standpoint. Once I find the specific resume that I'm interested in. So in this instance, I'm just going to copy and paste this information here. Responsibilities of a marketing director. If you have a specific job that you are looking to apply for. Um, you can copy and paste that information here, save job description. So what this will do is it'll take the keywords and the different um, functionality in the job that you're looking for. So in this case, marketing director, and it's going to find out what's missing in your current resume. Or if you're starting from scratch, it'll be able to draft the resume for you um, to say, does this align with the work that you have done? It'll give you suggestions on how to incorporate it into the job description that you're trying to do. Um, super easy in that way. It'll also take information from your resume, including your email and your phone number, and it'll put it up here. So I went and added the search engine optimization bullet just so that you can see what that looks like. It's increased my resi score. So I just want to show you here. 
what it looks like. So optimizations, which is, does it fit the job that you're applying for? Does the format work in terms of the AI scrubbers? Is, is, are the AI scrubbers going to be able to read your resume? What is the actual content? Is the information in your resume interesting? Does it use best practice as an application? Is it ready to submit it? Okay, so we want to jump in and actually start editing this resume to make it work better for us. So you'll see at the top, there's this bar um, where you can add your information. So this is if you were to start from scratch, this is what this looks like. So you'd add your name, you'd add your email, your phone number, all these things. You'd add your different experiences, which I'll come back to in a second. Specific projects that you want to highlight your education, um, which case I've already added all of those, the certifications, blah, blah, blah. So let's go into experience. I just want to edit this because right now it's telling me, as we saw, that I have some critical mistakes that need to be fixed. So in this instance, it'll tell me exactly here on the left what bullet points, what issues I have, um, and I can actually go in and fix those right away. So let's say, so let's take this as an example, this very first one. I'm actually not loving the way that it's written. Maybe the AI can write it a little bit better. Let's see what they come up. So I have a couple options here. And what I can do is if I show, if I pop it in, it'll replace it automatically. I'm actually kind of impressed with how the wording of this has improved. It's taking information from the job description that I've already found and actually creating bullet points that are more in line with what that job description has outlined. So right now I have 10 bullet points. So let's just X out and get we'll do six so that we fall in line into the uh, best practices category. So once you've checked off that best practice, it'll tell you, hey, you've already done this, no need to worry about it. So in this instance, I've gone from 10 to six. Um, I have a qualified, a quantified bullet point, which is something that I recommend that everyone does, which is to take the actual information of your job, the data, and put it into a bullet point somehow to kind of show movement, show progress, um, and what you'll see is this is actually what the first bullet, what the system actually did on my behalf. Um, so I'll go through and I'll say, you know, this was the bullet that they've rewritten and they've changed the, or they've added a percentage increase, which I don't know if that percentage is actually correct. So I'd have to go back and fact check that. But in terms of adding more quantitative data or numbers into your resume, those tend to send, stand out with, uh, with interviewers better because they're able to ask you about that when you're in the interview. And if the numbers are good enough, let's say it's a specific revenue number or a specific kind of KPI that you've been working on, if the number's really good, you can tell that story when you actually get into the interview. So it's important to have that as part of your resume. So let's rewrite the rest of these just to see what the system comes up with. This one, and what you can see it's doing for all of these is it's rewriting, it's understanding what I've tried to write in the system, and then it's popping out quantitative or more information that is relevant for the job that I've applied for, things like that. So if you know what job you're applying for specifically, you start from scratch and you input all your information, you will get a lot closer to the AI uh, scanning part of it. You'll, you'll be a better match, even if it's one page. So in this instance, it's moved the skills that I have toward the bottom. And this will be when I download it, it'll probably be cut off, but we'll find out. Um, and I'm going to leave everything else the way that it is. But if we download this PDF, we'll hit allow. And then obviously the ask, hey, okay, so let's jump over to the resume and kind of show you what it looks like. So actually not too bad. This is exactly how it displayed on the uh, web version. So the AI part of this is super cool when it comes to um, coming up with buzzwords, coming up with keywords, being able to target it toward the job that you're applying for. But when it comes to the actual formatting, I don't think it really does a great job, but that's okay. Um, once you save this, you can save it as a Word document and, or pages or whatever you use. Uh, you can save it to Google Docs, whatever, and then go through and rearrange it as long as you have the content that you're looking for. But to me, I mean, this is something if I was a, if I was a hiring manager, if I was a recruiter, um, this to me would be okay. I would not have any issue with this. It would display um, correctly and I would have all the information that I need. It does cut off if you don't have the, uh, if, if you were to have the bullets go a little bit longer like what I had, it cuts off to two pages. So you would just submit it and it would just, so when you go through an edit on Word, you put this down so it looks nice, whatever you wanted. Okay, so here's my thoughts. So I was a little skeptical. I thought it was gonna be very generic. I know if you've used AI stuff before, if you use ChatGPT as an example, it's very generic and you have to give them a lot of information. So the system itself, really understood what I was trying to do and where I was going. One thing that I did find a little repetitive was how it worded the different paragraphs or each bullet. It seemed that there was only a limited number of ways 
that it would state something. So it would say like oversaw, managed, which I guess on regular resumes it does that too, but it felt like it was kind of repetitive in the types of bullets that it was churning out, which I think if you're writing your resume using AI, starting out with that, having that be the very first step I think is incredible. You can churn it out, you can get all of these things and then go back through and rewrite it in different ways, change the verbs, change the percentages, change the data points. On the whole though, I actually was really impressed with the fact that one of the comments that I always make when I review people's resumes is you want to have the actual data if you have data that you can use, but you want to use the proof is in the pudding. If you can say I increased revenue by X percent, I my average call times was this amount, whatever data that you can actually put in a resume is more telling for the actual reviewer of your resume because they can ask you about that when they're interviewing you and it kind of stands out as a, as a proof point that they can use to say, okay, this person obviously has a track record of this versus somebody that just doesn't really have numbers or doesn't really have data points to back up what they actually did. But on the whole, I was very impressed. So I'm interested to hear, let me know in the comments if you've tried AI, if you've tried an AI uh, resume generator, how it worked for you. And um, if you would be trying this one, I'm interested to know. And if you're not sure if you still wanna apply for a different job or start your own business, check out this video that I made about starting a nine to five while working full time. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.